Okay, let's take a look at how to build a custom indicator of compromise in Microsoft Cloud App Security. Now, if you're not familiar with an IOC, it's basically an artifact that's observed in a network or an operating system that with high confidence indicates an intrusion. So it could be a file hash, as an example. These things are usually used for early detection of future attacks. You could also use them in response to an attack to block that threat from advancing within your environment. And they're often exchanged between cybersecurity professionals in an industry. If you wanna learn more about IOCs, see my other video for IOCs and Defender ATP. Let's jump into a demo and take a look at this. Okay, I'm gonna go within Cloud App Security and go to the Policies section and then create a new file policy. Now I've already done this, so let's filter my file policies and I'm gonna open up my policy file IOCs. I'm gonna change my severity to high and choose my category as threat detection. And then I've changed my filter and said file ID equals, and then here's the different file hashes. So if I wanna add another one, I just click on the plus sign and add that file hash. And here's those different hashes. And then I'm telling it to look for these file hashes across my cloud apps that are connected to MCAS. So look across Office 365, but also look across G Suite as well. And if you find that file, create an alert, and then apply a governance action. And that governance action could be delete the file, uh, put it in uh, admin quarantine, do a number of different things with it. And then when I click on update, it's then going to comb through all of that files in those cloud apps and start to apply this policy. So I've actually already done this. And if we go to my alerts, here you can see two alerts that were created uh, where it found WannaCry in G Suite and in SharePoint. And if we open up one of these alerts, here we can see the file that was found. And there is the file ID or the hash of the file in G Suite. There's a link to where the file can be found. And it triggered my malware detection policy and my file IOC policy. And if we go back here, let's take a look at the one in SharePoint. And uh, here is my file in uh, SharePoint. There's the hash. There's the URL of where it can be accessed. So pretty cool. This can prevent the file from spreading. Uh, this can go in and automatically delete it or put it in quarantine or take some kind of governance action that you want it to take. I also have MCAS hooked up to Azure Sentinel as my SIM. And here in Azure Sentinel, you can see uh, my alert here for file IOCs. So folks, it's that easy to do this. Uh, this is how you create a IOC in Cloud App Security. Not only do you wanna create these IOCs in Cloud App Security, but you probably also wanna do it in Defender ATP and your other security products. I hope you found value in this video. Give me a thumbs up and like it if you did. Be sure to click on subscribe so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. I have a lot more planned for Cloud App Security, Defender ATP, Office 365 ATP, and the entire Microsoft Security Compliance stack. So we'll see you later.